Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Today, the topic we are going to discuss is conditionals. There are four conditionals that we use in English language, and we'll discuss them uh, all uh, uh, one by one. We'll discuss them when do we use in English language and how do they mean. For example, the first condition, zero condition. So, uh, zero condition, when do we use? We use them to talk about things that are always true or facts. For example, if you heat water, it works. Now, if you do some act, so it results into this. What are you using for this? You are using present indefinite. First form of the verb means present indefinite, and in the next clause, you are again using present indefinite. So, in both clauses, in in zero conditional, you use present indefinite tense. In both in both clauses, what do we use? Present indefinite tense. Look at the next example. If you drink milk, it strengthens your bones. Again, this is an act. If you drink milk, if you make it your routine, if you make it your habit, it it does what? It makes it strengthens means it makes your bones strong. It strength, it makes your bones strong. So what do you need to remember? That we use zero conditional to talk about things that are always true or facts, and what we use, we use present indefinite tense in both clauses, and they can also change places. It, uh, uh, it's not necessary that you bring if clause in the first place. Change places. The next is first conditional. The next is what first conditional. And when do we use? When we talk about rare and possible situation in the present or future. When we talk about rare and possible situation in the present or future. And what do we use in first conditional? We use present indefinite if it rains. We use present indefinite and future indefinite. Present indefinite and future indefinite. Present indefinite and future indefinite. For example, if it rains, it will result into something. It will result what? If it rains, I will get wet. It will affect me this way. If it rains, I will get better. Look at another example. If you work honestly, if you work honestly, again I'm using what? Present indefinite. Again I am using present indefinite. Present indefinite tense. You will get respect. You will. So this is again a good deal if you work honestly. It will result into something, it will result into what? It will result into getting respect. You will get respect. Technically, you have used present indefinite and future indefinite. Present indefinite and future indefinite. So, what you need to remember about first conditional is that you use Present indefinite and future indefinite in first conditional, and again they can change places. You, know, you can start the sentence like, I will get wet if it rains. In that case, you will not use comma. You, if you start a sentence with if clause, it will be followed by comma, but if you start a sentence with, uh, with uh, future indefinite, it will not be followed by comma. There will be no comma. If you bring this clause in the first place, this is what this is main clause. If you bring main clause in the first place, it will not be followed by comma. Now, next is second condition. When do we use second condition? We use second condition when we talk about unreal or impossible things in the present or future. Un <coughs> Uh, in, uh, unreal and impossible things. For example, if I say, if I had a lot of money, so I am talking about which is not possible. That means I don't have a lot of money. If I have a lot of money, I am just supposing. 
So this is, this is unreal. This is not fair. If I had a lot of money, I, 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 this is my desire, this is my, uh, this is my assumption. If I had a lot of money, I would buy a big house. I would buy a big house. Now, what you need to remember in the in second conditional is past indefinite. Look at this. If I had now had is what second form of second form of verb. Second form of verb. When do we use second form of verb? We use second form of verb when we use past indefinite tense. We use second form of verb when we use about when we talk about past indefinite tense. When we talk about past indefinite tense. In one clause we use second form of verb. That means we use past indefinite tense. And in the next clause we use would. Would is again the second form of will. Would is again what? The second form of will. Would plus first form of the will. The second conditional. In second conditional you use simple past or past indefinite plus word with first form of the verb. Look at the next example. If she worked hard. Now again I'm using what? If you worked hard. I'm using past indefinite. I'm using past indefinite because this is second form of the verb. If she worked hard, she would win the competition. She would win the competition. But she does not work hard. She worked hard. So I'm talking about again unreal thing. This is not this is not real. She's not working hard. Though, though I am saying if she worked hard. I'm talking about Kash Asa Hota. Agar Asa Ho Jai. It means what? It, uh, if she worked hard, she would win the competition. So again, what you need to remember, you yaad kya rakhna, mene kya use kiya? Isme mene pass use kiya, second form of the verb, and uske saath mene kya use kiya? Would plus when that means would ke saath mene first form of the verb use kiya. Now the third conditional. Third conditional. When do we use third conditional? We use third conditional when we talk about past hypothetical situation. Hypothetical means imaginary. Past hypothetical situation, hypothetical situation in the past, that means, that exactly means things that did not happen. Things that did not happen. And you are using the definition for that. If I had got up one time, that means, if I had got up one time, that means I did not get up, get up one time. That did not practically happen. If I had got up one time, I wouldn't have missed the bus. I wouldn't have missed the bus. Technically, what you need to remember, what I am using here, past perfect. I am using past perfect. And in the next clause, I am using uh, would, wouldn't, why? Because I have to give negative uh, meaning. I wouldn't have missed the bus. So, what? What you need, what you need to remember is, if I have got up on, uh, on time, in this I have used what past perfect tense, past perfect tense, and in this I have used wouldn't have with third form of the verb. Look at another example. If they have completed work on time, if they have completed, look at this. I what I have used, what I have used is past perfect tense again. If they had, uh, if they had completed work on time. They would have felt better. They would have felt better. So that means it didn't happen. They didn't complete work all time, and they were, they did not feel better. But I'm practically what I'm using, I'm using past perfect here. And in the next clause, I am using would have with third form of the verb. So, dear students, this was uh, a brief introduction of conditionals of all. Uh, that we use in English language.